uh, hello everyone. I hope now uh, you can hear me. We're starting over. Uh, my name is Anna Roska. I'm lettering artist full time working in Portugal. Let me know if sound is back and you can hear me all right. Um, just oh, perfect. Cool. So my name is Anna. I live in Portugal, in Lisbon, and today I'm taking over the uh, Holy Art uh, Instagram page and I'll be showing you uh, my practice. You can join me to, uh, to, try, lettering, or to try abstract with me or you can um, watch this video probably later uh, when you have uh, all the paints um, next to you. So uh, let's, let's try, let's make it uh, today. Um, first, uh, we're gonna uh, work on A3 uh, paper, just loosen up, uh, gonna do some exercise and then uh, we're gonna be working on a, a 50 by 60 canvas. This one is repurposed but I think it's gonna work well. Um, let me just, yeah, just when, while we're waiting for the rest of the people, just say where you're from. Uh, and uh, tell me if you're gonna paint today with me. Just lift your hand, say hello. Um, I'm from Portugal, from Lisbon. It's still uh, daylight here, quite good weather. I believe most of you are from UK. So sending you some sun. Um, yeah, let's, let's get ready. Today uh, we're probably gonna work with a purple uh, color, red and yellow. This is my favorite colors and I, um, I would encourage you to try them together with me today in New York metro area. <laughs> um, I hope I I hope we're gonna give some some sun, send some sun to to New York, Brazil, cool. Okay, UK, yes, yes, perfect. Okay, so let's just let's just do it. Um, I have uh, very kind of very thin paper just for sketches. It's uh, A3 size, uh, A3 is 2 A4. So it's 42 by 30, by 30 centimeters. So I'm gonna uh, change the camera now to the, to the page and you can try this now with me. If you're in Metro and you have pencil uh, or marker, you can still try it on a small size. It's very good exercise. I develop it myself. Um, so let's, let's get it done. I'm going to turn my deck. So, oh my gosh. Ta -da. Yeah, that's my apartment. And this is where we're going to work today. Everything is perfectly seen. Great. Okay. So this is how we start. Um, uh, it's good if you have uh, a plate because that's the best thing uh, to mix uh, to mix colors. And I'm gonna take a bit of uh, purple, as it's quite contrast to white. It's quite dark. Just mix it a bit with water. And before I start with with the exercise, um, I'm gonna divide uh, A4 paper I'm gonna give some so we need a uh, six boxes and so this exercise I'll um, just take uh, number number 12 it's actually from uh, from New York when I was there I bought this brush and it's the best it, I, uh, it's synthetic uh, number 12 so how do you how do you start um, we need to make a line um, kind of stopping on like seven seven uh, points like one two three four five six seven Eight. Okay, so what I found is that uh, every time I enter the box from the same um, place and exit the same way, so you may you may go with uh, dry, um, dry brush or with uh, more water. You can also uh, hold brush closer to the 
um, to the beginning, so you have more control over it. Let me just see the comments. Or you can uh, take it in the end, so it gives you completely different feeling. Yeah, if you if you do it with me, you can also try with pencil. So you can also vary the the pressure, and you can make it really. You can press really hard, and or you can like slightly. Yeah, and you need to to make like ten pages of it to to get in the mood of for paint. Let me try again. Yeah, it shouldn't be perfect because it's just exercise. And you can also change the pressure, making seven stops, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just, just um, after a while, you will notice that you are repeating yourself the way you move your brush. It's unbelievable. So only when you do like maybe five or seven. Uh, pages you will see that most <laughs> most of them are all the same um, so it will help you to to change a bit the way you move brush or the way you um, work with uh, negative space yeah so just look at this these two yeah these two are already different so how does it help me to work with a uh, uh, with the negative space, with uh, building composition. It's actually um, the show that I am trying to work with the whole space all together. Um, and here, just, just uh, engaging the upper part of the composition. So you can analyze yourself a lot. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a diary. <laughs> so now, um, probably I'll do, um, I'll do one more because I'm a bit uh, nervous and I just want to relax. And this exercise is the best to actually just get into practice and not thinking about anything else. Yeah, I like when brushes... Um, so when I went to art school, when I was... A tiny little Russian girl, I was told that you should only uh, use a brush, not against the, you know, the, the hair, not kind of, not kind of breaking it. So now I found myself that I really enjoy, like really almost breaking the brush. And now it's became a part of my, uh, part of my style, I would say. My boyfriend says that, <laughs> when uh, painting is too organized, is not my style. So I really, like, I aim to kind of break the brush, you know. So that's what I like about abstract. It's like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really show you what I'm doing with this brush. I don't know how it's still alive. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> but it's really, it, it feels really nice to just go against um, any rules. So, yeah, that's that's what is what build my my style. So now let me move a bit camera a bit up. Okay. We can do more of that and there are a lot of to think about, but now we're going to move to this beautiful uh canvas. It's kind of on a cardboard. It's quite um, let me show. It's quite thin, quite affordable, and it's easy to... If you're just a beginner, uh, you don't need to buy expensive canvas. You can buy just on a paper or paper. It's also quite good. You can, you can easily paint on paper, and it's going to look just nice. So, how, uh, how are we going to do that? 
Um, when you switch from uh, a small paper to a bigger canvas, you need to have a bigger brush. Otherwise, um, your the movement you make is going to be too repetitive, to to kind of like a like noise, you know, like too. Um, you need to have on a big canvas. You need to have big shapes. So to build big shapes fast and not to get tired, you need to have a bigger brush. So now I'm gonna. I want to mix some yellow on the corner. Let me just remove this purple, otherwise it's gonna engage with my <laughs> with my yellow. So I'm taking a bit of yellow. It's a bit dirty yellow <laughs> with a bunch of um, purple I think that's good enough yeah I, when I start uh, I'm trying to use um, it's kind of very good mix with uh, water otherwise when it's too dense the the paint is hard to move around and on the first stage I'm um, when I'm creating um, a layer uh, like a, a base so I really want to move fast. Oh, I, I think it's already, <laughs> it's already nice. I'm in love with yellow color. So now I want a bit, I need a bit red. And when it's, uh, when it's a lot of water, you see how it's, uh, mixing, like blending in much better. So then let me take a bit white. Liquitex. I'm using all the brands for me. There is no difference between them. Yeah, uh, when I use white, it helps to, uh, it gives some kind of creamy texture, like milky, and uh, not that aggressive yellow. So what else? It's time to add a bit of purple. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the best <laughs> art student ever. I never, I never uh, wash my uh, brushes and I never um, <laughs> wash the, the palette. And that helps to, actually it's became part of my my practice, this is, it helps to blend uh, colors together. Small brush, small brush. Gotta get big one. Otherwise I'm gonna be finishing tomorrow morning. bit of red. So what I'm doing now, I'm taking colors that are uh, very close to each other on a color wheel. Um, it's red, orange, yellow. It's same, same family. And they're easily, they're just kind of, let me try to turn off the light. I believe, I believe it's gonna look better right oh no one second we're gonna stay with light okay yes i agree super great okay cool let's continue Yeah, to most of my students, I usually tell guys, don't worry if you, um, if you screw up, <laughs> if it doesn't work, if it doesn't look nice and you just don't like where you're going, you can always stop and you can always um, um, just paint it over in white and it's gonna look nice eventually. This is how you learn.
So now, to blend, I want to use a bit of white. Yeah, I, I like to paint fast. Um, I mean, I do enjoy the process, but I usually have a vision what I want it to be. So I don't want to catch the, uh, kind of lose the, you know, the, the feeling because it's, so what I'm doing, I'm just trying to create a gradient uh, from yellow uh, through, somehow this color I don't like and it's still um, wet so I can easily erase it with, um, with paper, with napkin. So just want to show you that it's never that um, that you can easily erase any any paint before it dries. Yeah, I'm I'm trying not to use uh, pure purple or yellow. Always trying to mix it. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's getting better. Let me lift it up and okay, here we are. Yeah, it's already nice if you just, uh, if you make nice <laughs> gradient from one color to another, it's gonna, it's already gonna look nice. So then I just Yeah, I don't like white space, so when I have a chance to even the light uh, color of yellow would be still better than just white. I don't, don't like it. So uh, there is a there is a kind of approach in, um, to balance the composition is to mirror some uh, the, the accents. So now the the darkest uh, point here is uh, exactly on a, one of the focal points. Uh, focal point is if you divide your um, the space into two vertical lines and two horizontal so focal points going to be somewhere somewhere here and i usually place my the accent on uh, around one of them so there are four and i really like this one now but i also want to add like a mirror um somewhere here just a bit because of reflection, I don't really see what I'm doing, but it's okay. Yeah, and I don't like the this really like harsh edge. So there's a kitchen supply that you can use, like or anything, whatever. Like if you have I don't know, like peels, whatever, whatever to your. Yeah, just kind of to to work out the bit um, edges of this uh, of the shape. So yeah, if.
fingers is always like working with hands is always a good idea so don't don't try to avoid it try it you're gonna like it oh there's my hair okay So, yeah, um, now from, from here, it's, so, it's already going to be going a bit slower because uh, now the, the base kind of is done and now I'm going to see how I can make it more interesting. For example, here I added um, a black kind of splashes. And probably I'm going to do it now as well and uh, kind of spread it a bit with white and, and black around the painting. Yeah, as, um, we can try two more scenes now to make it more interesting. So the first one is... Uh, I'm just going to get this, get a bit more red. Okay, and yeah, some shapes can be connected because this the the line creates intersection and uh, kind of making new new shapes that you can just fill it with the color. And now. I think now it's time. I like it as a as a background, but um, I think there are some very strong uh, accent is missing that I'm gonna do with, with black. Okay, <laughs> I'm sc oh my gosh, I'm scared. Every time I need to do it, I cannot. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, go I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, it's... Okay, I did that. <laughs> I don't see what I'm doing, but yeah, it looks nice. And now I want to I want to do another one here. Good. Good. Wow, and probably a bit of more white. So my idea why I'm showing you this, I'm really, I really want to encourage you to try um, to do it yourself and then Actually, um, since this is not dry yet, I can um, I can use some tools to kind of to make to make lines. So yeah, I want I want I want you to try yourself, and I want you to see that it's quite easy, and you can really really enjoy it yourself. I think it looks 
pretty cool now. This is actually first time when I'm using this tool I got yesterday in IKEA. It's so quite quite useful to manage paint. So yeah, I think it's quite done. It's quite impressive, expressive and impressive at the same time. Look at my hands. So let me let me just uh, go through your uh, questions. If there are some, I will reply. You're so good. Thank you so much. That is so interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, I was really worried how I'm gonna do it. Um, focal points. Yes, lovely colors. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool. So, uh, as you can see, the the black can't really uh, mess it up because uh, eighty percent of the painting is just light uh, yellow and a bit of orange. So just um, fifteen percent. Actually, my sneakers are the same. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, my sneakers has the same uh, color palette. Maybe that that's where I got my inspiration from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you choose your colors uh, before you start? Um, I have my favorite colors, and it's um, I really like the energy of red and the warmness warmness of yellow, and I like to to add a bit of purple to it. So I'm gonna show you a bit of my work and you will see that more or less I use the same colors every time. So for example, this one, it's quite, it's here you have more, um, I have more purple and a bit of orange and red. This one is super cool, I did it yesterday. Um, this one, this one is more, again, more um, orange, yellow, and again, purple. So can go anywhere from purple. And this one I did yesterday. It's kind of flowers, abstract flowers. Uh, again, purple, just different proportion of uh, purple, pinkish, and yeah, and blue. Yeah, I just, I have... A uh, color palette that I like, and most of I do is more or less just this color, different proportion. Beautiful. I love this one. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Can you download the video, please? So I have it. Okay, so let me just... Uh, hello again. So yeah, that was me painting for you. And if you have any question, like how to start... Um, what paper to choose or what canvas and if you should go for unprime, unprime canvas or for um, prime or you want to prime it yourself, um, what paint to choose, you can always uh, ask me in direct message. I'm always there and happy to reply. So guys, thank you so much. Um, what inspires you? J just gonna just gonna ask this question about inspiration. Um, I think natural like nature, like uh, the sky and flowers are really big inspiration for me, but I believe I built my practice uh, uh, at, at art school, uh, uh, working with uh, figurative art for five years. So now I'm really um, fed up with uh, vases or like still life uh, painting. I just want to do abstract shapes, but, but colors are yeah, mostly, most, mostly these three that I mentioned. So um, thank you so much for being here with me. Try, uh, I would be super, super, super happy if you try yourself and you talk uh, holy art and me in your stories and I'll be happy to, um, to just, I just want to be proud of you. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.